Hey there! Today we are playing the game called Stray, where you are a cat. So welcome, put your pyjamas on, grab a snack, and let's do this. Hello there everyone, welcome back to another one of our cat adventures. Um, previously <laughs> on the series, our friend Momo asked us to come here to this dangerous area because we need to climb up and fix a signal tower kind of thing in order to make the transceiver work and then we'll be able to talk to his friends which escaped here and see if they can tell us how to escape ourselves to the upper levels so yeah now we just need to risk our lives a bit over here but that's okay that's okay it's fine <laughs> rooftops okay oh i see a carpet it cannot go untouched we need to do something about this <laughs> okay just fulfilling the cat duties and now I see over there the little creatures. Well, 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 well. Um, if only they didn't want to eat me alive. <laughs> is there a way I can go climbing up here? I don't think there is. We just need to go through them. So I'm gonna go down here. And how do I do this? Do I need to run again just run for my life or is there oh wait press circle to meow to attract the enemies why would i want to attract the enemies uh do i oh oh wait they, they are coming i didn't i didn't meow can i go up oh god i can go uh, uh, run okay okay come down this is fine I'm just gonna run just gonna run and gonna circle around they're going to... Oh, oh, no, that was not planned. <laughs> oh, can I go up? I can. Okay, will they follow me? No. God, these little creatures. Well, apparently we need to train a bit our skills to trick them because we... Yeah. They are usually blocking the way, so we need to meow, call their attention, run do a circle or something so they are over there and I see that we can jump on this thing here so I'm just gonna wait for them and then go okay there we go climb up climb up before they come and yeah but I'm loving the music the music was so good right now and all of this looks very creepy <laughs> very stranger things like well let's keep keep climbing up and hope not to meet up with Vecna somewhere hopefully not are we gonna fight some real Demogorgons here or something or just the weird little wobbly creatures oh wait there's something for me to remember here let's see what memory it is the city's full of neon. It wasn't always like this. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up. Rainbow lamps. Neon signs were all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope. And, not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. And that's how the neon light revolution began. <laughs> I love the background story of this game. Uh, to just try to figure out what happened. And yeah humans were living down here 
but they were starting to lose their minds especially because of this class division thing and everyone having to live down here like in the giant garbage area in the darkness um, what is this here? is a camera symbol? can I meow at the camera? doesn't work and a barrow again <laughs> I don't know what it is about video games but barrows they are just always there it doesn't it doesn't matter what game it is you're going to find one either is barrows for you to break and get coins or loot or in like this case which I never saw before to roll <laughs> inside the barrel <laughs> um, but it's impressive you're always going to find a barrow in a video game usually they are good for just laying around the scenes to fill up space <laughs> And things are getting very, very ugly here now. I'm not liking it so much. It's a very sort of disgusting... Oh, oh god, it broke the whole thing. And the creatures found me, they want to eat me alive. What did I do? Okay, they still cannot get across. The door. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to do some trickery here again. How do I want to do this? They're going to come here now. No! 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 My God! Okay, so what do I do? Ah, okay. I need to trap them here now and run for it. Like this. Okay. See, I'm, I'm very big smart, very big smart. My brain is the size of a, a hazelnut. And, did I make it? I made it go up. Okay. And now I know I have to, ah, God, I can feel the, my kitty paws just touching that weird sort of organic uh, uh, okay. Disgusting. <laughs> um, just checking to see if I didn't miss anything. Uh, let's just keep going. I think we are at the tower. Neko Corporation. It's the name of the company that took care of the, the trash, I think. And... Let's drop down here. Uh, this is being... This is such a relaxing episode, right? Not... Not unnerving or stressful at all. <laughs> uh, but I hope it's going to be just a short part of the journey. Because there are so much other pretty places to show you. Oh god, and now we are inside, we're basically inside the devil's nest. This is so Stranger Things like. <laughs> and it's not so such long ago that I finished the last season, so... Do you think they were inspired by it when making it? It feels like because it has that sort of upside down... Uh... Aesthetic. All right, let's go put the transceiver all the way on the top of the building. Okay, that's the plan, my friend. How do we? Go? Oh, look at them! Look at them running against the boxes there. Oh god, <laughs> the boxes are just flying up. Okay, so let me try run around here. Let's just run somewhere here. Let me go up. Oh god, god, get out of here. Am I... Am I where I want to be? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, they're coming again. Okay, let's just keep going here. Let's trick them. 
I know what to do. Let's just wait for them here and jump to the other side. Let's run on this. Oh god. Slimy ground. I, 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 I don't want, even want to. I, I want to stop imagining <laughs> what it feels like to have your feet on that thing. And now, where are they? Something down here. No? Where are you? Oh, you're locked. What do I do? Do I let you free? Let me check. Let me check out over here first. See what's this memory. Mechacorp. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating way more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Oh, okay, so now we know the origins of these little creepy things. Now we're gonna hack the door here and just run. Do the run around here. Just circle around them and let's go down. Jump down. Okay. And close the door, I think. Then we'll we'll be safe here. So what a what a theory. They developed a bacteria to eat the trash, but it mutated into these creepy little things and now they want to eat everything everything including cats fluffy fluffy <laughs> fluffy pretty kitties well i think what do i do do i jump oh i could do that jump why don't you let me do it i think i need to open the door again but Will the little creatures come after me then? I'm gonna open the door. And then just... Oh, come on. Why is it not opening? I wanna run the barrel over there. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Did I bug the game? Alright, so to save you some time, I'm just gonna... Flash forward this because I've been here for 20 minutes or something trying to open the door But the button to press wasn't showing up anymore for some reason <laughs> until now What do I do to make this door open? Oh wait, what's the robot doing now? Oh, are you joking me? Are you joking me? I didn't even press anything now. Detroit just decided to open the door like 10 20 minutes later after I press the button. <laughs> what is going on? Oh god, this is the first bug I experienced on the game, I think. Uh, it took only 10 minutes for the droid to hack the door. But okay. Now we have the barrow over here. And we're gonna jump here. And continue... Escalating the building. Oh, and there are bizarre creatures coming towards us. Let's go. Go up and jump and jump. Jump more. Okay. Oh, and I have a lever here. Okay. What does it do? Oh, okay. The elevator is coming to get us. And with a bunch of the Zorks. I'm just gonna run back here. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Oh, Ooh. run, run. I I think I need to. Oh, it's not here. The elevator's not here yet. <laughs> Let me go. We need to keep running in circles until the the elevator gets here. Oh, over here. Okay, now I'm gonna be able to jump on it. I think. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay. God, these little creatures, they 
really do put me on my nerves. But we are safe now. Oh god, they're still jumping from the building. I hope there's like something that we are going to press and just put them all in fire or something. <laughs> Is that too crew? I don't think so. It's not crew at all. They want to eat us alive. So... Okay, we arrived. Come on, open. Uh, it doesn't want to open. Okay, we need to find an alternative. Let's just keep jumping. And are we here? Here it is. Put the transceiver on this antenna. Okay. Wait. Where? Where where do I put it? Oh, over here. Okay. Use item. Where's my my transceiver? There we go. So is it going to work? Come on. Come on, baby. That's right. It's lighting up. Now with the antenna, we're going to be able to talk to the others. And... What happens now? Do we need to fight and run our way back? Or do we get a, a nice bucket elevator thing here? Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. No, come on. I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. Maybe it was beautiful back then. Those look like stars, but they are only lights marking the hermetic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Um, okay. But if you come from there, it must mean that it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. Oh, so there was a plan to go outside, once it was safe again. I still don't understand why some memories are are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now, this was my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. This reminds me more and more of that movie, <laughs> City of Amber, or Ambers, uh, where they were living underground to survive the, the, the atmosphere on the outside, which wasn't good anymore. Uh, just like here and but they were all being you know light to because the outside was already livable <laughs> for many years already but the prefect didn't want them to go outside or something like that I don't remember anymore I should watch it again I remember liking that movie quite a bit but over here it's much much more of a tragedy because humans are not here anymore I think I think there's no one alive but the planet is stable again the slums part 2 oh exciting <laughs> part 2 okay where's Memo? Memo? I'm just meowing a lot here <laughs> see if he comes up where are you, Momo? Let's read this note. Look, a note! Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent! I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is? <laughs> oh yes, quite simple. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window, near the entrance. Let's go. Of course it's the, the code for the window, oh. my friend. He told us that. Oh, Didn't uh, you uh, say that you used to work with a scientist? Yeah. I thought you were supposed to be a very clever droid. I did. I am. I am a clever droid. Okay, okay. 
I'll, I'll, I'll pretend I believe you. Uh, okay, if I... If open this, the door now, I, I mean, we're gonna have to figure it out. I will, I will. Here's the lock for the window. The code was, um, um, I think... Oh, wrong key. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try again. And then it was... Oh, was it... Uh, let's see. Success. He went. Mum was at the bar waiting for us. Let's go. Oh, well, 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 look at you. I thought you were having a bit of problem there for a second. No, I am. But you did it. Yeah. You are very clever, my friend. Uh, thank you. I am. Alright, um, so... Uh, I'm going to take my... My bucket, elevator, and go find Momo. Uh, he is on the bar, right? I think I remember quite well where the bar is. Let me just go down here. What's going on with you, Vipora? Me and my friends like to toss buckets at each other. Good and plain fun. Our downstairs neighbor disagrees, so we are taking a break right now. <laughs> uh, yes, um, I did make them drop a bucket of paint, didn't I? So sorry. It was just my cat instincts. I, I, I had to do it. I had no other choice. So, let me go down uh, now. And... Can I go... Talk to the... To the downstairs neighbor. Poor... Poor guy. Needs to clean all the paint from the ground now. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Let me talk to him. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascals. It's Cosma. It's her. Sorry. I am so sorry. I am the responsible. <laughs> Don't be mad at them. My god. <laughs> they were just having fun. Throwing buckets. Oh, can I go in? Wait a minute. What is this? A laundry. Uh, oh, interesting. Anything here that I could grab? I'm still searching for those energy drinks. Uh... There's some things we need to find, right? To deal with the merchant? Merchant? Is that how I say it? I think it is. Uh, but there doesn't seem to have anything in here. So... Uh, wait. There's one item in here. Super spirit detergent. Okay. Now that is something that we needed. Uh... To deal with the merchant later on. Sorry once again, Cosma. So sorry. Uh, so where's the bar? Right here, I think. Right here. So let's go in. Oh, Mamo, there you are. Hey, little fireball. <laughs> Come here. I managed to get a signal. Houston, we have contact. We have contact. Okay. I knew. Who are you? Hmm. Why are you standing there? Suspicious. So everyone just chilling here in the bar? Hey, you want something? Nope. I'm good. I just want to talk to Momo. He's betting us. Okay. Ooh, let me see if I can get this thing working. I thought you had it working already. Oh wait. It's hacking. Hmm. I've almost got it. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We are looking for a way out. And... Wait, is that you, Spaltasar? No, no. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Where are the others? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Hello? Darn it! 
We've lost the signal. I can't believe it. Smelter's heart is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums. But if his bolters are made it, there must be a way. <laughs> ah. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks, man. They'll make you a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Oh well, thank you for nothing, weirdo. Go on, go drink some cups of oil. <sighs> Seamus, Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks, but, well, a few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. And Seamus has never been the same since. Oh. Okay, there's a sad story in there. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned the secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Okay, but first, let me talk to Jacob. Hey there, Jacob. Can you get me something to drink? No? Uh. Fine, okay, I'm out of here. What about you? You have something there? Billy? No? Fine. Let's follow Momo. So, that's very good news. There's a weapon, apparently, to fight the Zergs. We don't need to be running around anymore so much. Okay, Cosmo, okay, sorry. Well, let's hope it's true, and that the dog really built a weapon. And what is this here? Announcement! I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambience. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Moriusk. It's the guitar man we met. Come on, Simus, open the door! You know your father would have wanted to help us. Oh, well, that was to be expected. The situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you... I think I have an idea. Hmm, an idea, you say? Uh, what could it be? Ah, oh, yes. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to him. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try and reestablish communication with the group. Oh, okay. Going back to the bar to reestablish communications. Could you do that on another place? You think I don't know what you're going to do on the bar, Momo? Rest in peace, humans, little heart. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they are all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. I have a big suspicion that you are dead. Not really dead. Oh, there's something here. Let me grab it. Is it an energy drink? Yes, it is. I think that the droid might be a person who died, you know, and became a droid. I have that impression. And it would be very interesting. Like consciousness transfer. What? What? I... What are you doing here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Just leave me be. Calm down, calm down. Gotta... Gotta show you something. What is this? Why? It's my purpose. Oh, wow! I never knew it. 
There's a secret room here in our flat. Yes, but where? That's what we need to find out. Right now, Seamus. So get up, your lazy ass, and come help me. So what do we have here? Uh, what is this? Oh! <laughs> okay, not there. What about this cute photo here? You go down as well, and wait. Time will tell. Time will tell. That's some sort of enigma. Uh, let me keep dropping paintings here. Oh, found something there. What is that thing? Are you seeing that? I need a code. I don't have the code. Seamus? Oh, I've never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password is. Um, maybe... Can we open the door for Momo? Why? <laughs> Why don't we open the door to Momo? Three heads think better than two. Isn't that right? Anything here on the beds? No? On the table here, maybe? Anything on the papers? Oh, oh there's some numbers there on the phone. Could that be it? Nine, nine, eight, seven. No, it isn't. Come on, think. Think, Andrew. It's not this. No, too many numbers. It can't be that. Time will tell. Time will tell. It's probably something so, so obvious and I'm just being a fool. Is there something here? Any sort of date, maybe? Maybe it's a date? Alright, so we're going to speed things up again because I'm over here overthinking this, not seeing the obvious what's right in front of my eyes. Time will tell. Time will tell. I mean, it's so obvious. I'm so mad I didn't see this before. No. Oh. Talk to Seamus again. What could be the code? Wait a second. No. Oh, are you kidding me? The clocks. How did I not see the clocks in there? I just thought it was some sort of decoration. Two, five, one... One, is that it? Two, five, one, one. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm so stupid. Mysterious music playing, loving it. Ah, the clocks, my god. Okay, let's see the secret lab in here. I've never seen this room before. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for his Zark weapon. Papa was always secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed real life tests. He went outside the slums and never came back. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe he's still alive. I think he's still alive, maybe. What is this here? Oh, we have one of the ugly little bacteria. Observations. Cute sound, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the night. React to intense light. Reacts to intense light. That's it. That's it. It must be some sort of light. A uh, flashlight thing, maybe? Or ultraviolet light. Do you get it, Seamus? Do you understand? Are you understanding, Seamus? Let's keep looking around. Translate. Robot News Headlines. 
Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. And that's why the robots are so scared of them. They'll eat anything. <laughs> but it's strange because they were not eating through the gates and fences. So where? Wait. Find anything interesting here? No, not yet. Just a newspaper here. What are we looking for again? Wait, this box here is suspicious. Let's drop it. Good job. Good job, cat. What do we get? What's on the box? Oh, what do I do to the box? Come on, isn't... Was there something supposed to fall from the box? Why I'm not seeing it? Oh, there's another box. This one. This one is going to work. Oh, there we are. Broken tracker. Broken tracker. Oh. Robot news headlines. Zerk no, Barrow. no, no, no. I didn't want to press. I want to talk with Simus. Find anything interesting here? Now I did. Yes. Hold on a second. Broken tracker. There we go. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. And can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Alright, we are getting places. I can feel it. So... We are going to have a weapon against the Zerks. But first... We must go for a little mission. Oh, I see. So now you open the door for Momo. Wait. Where's Momo? Momo? Oh, yes. He went to the bar, right? <laughs> you gotta fix the tracker. You're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. I am resourceful. Okay. I didn't know I was. <laughs> but... Let me just run. What was that noise? Oh, what is making that noise? Weird, okay. Let me run around here and... Oh, this is, this is where I came from, right? From the very beginning. Okay. I want to talk to people before doing the things. Grandma Clothing. Oh, okay. Hello, Grandma. I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It is something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Oh, nice. I inspire Grandma. She wants to make a poncho for us. A poncho. I want a poncho now. Hello there, you. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? You want something. Oh, sorry, guap. Why so rude? You want something. Let me show you something. Trying to get that repaired? Go see Elliot. Just scratch the door on your right and someone will let you in. Oh, okay, so over here? No, wait, on my right? Okay, here. Yeah. Elliot, programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to answer. Well, in my case, scratch the door and wait for them to open. Is it going to work? It did. Hi. Uh, let me just come in. <laughs> uh, can I talk to you? Can I do something here? Hello, 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 hello. Are you Elliot? Are you Elliot? Elliot's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore. He got passed down from our ancestors. If you want him to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That will butter him up. Oh, some cloth. So, from Grandma. Yes, the poncho, that is. 
Okay, things are starting to connect. Elliot is the little droid we met here that was feeling very, very cold. Yes, can I help you? Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model, is it Oima BR2000? You can track anyone with this little gadget. Can I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. I'll get you a blanket, <laughs> uh, Elliot. Can robots feel cold? Is this like a psychological thing? Is that programming going crazy? Well, uh, I I know what I have to do. I need to get the poncho from Grandma. Looks like Elliot isn't ready to work. Poor guy. We need to find him something warm. Yes, as I was saying, get the poncho with Grandma. Uh, but for that, we need cables, right? She said cables. And if I remember correctly, we get the cables with the merchant. I do love knitting. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right okay, materials yes. around here. Electric cable. So I know what where to find that do i have all the items to deal with the with the merchant i wonder i don't remember now what he wanted for it if it was energy drinks we did find a few of those already what are you guys still up to still doing the tai chi thing here <laughs> sorry <laughs> i disturbed you I meowed. I shouldn't have done that, but I'm a cat. I can't avoid it. Okay, so down here. Hello, mister. Hello, Jan. What do you want? This is a set of electric cable, the best one. I'll exchange it for super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Okay, I do have a super spirit detergent. Here you go. I have the cables. All right. So now we run back to Grandma Clothing and we're gonna get ourselves a nice poncho. I thought that it was going to be a cat sized poncho, but apparently, no. It's going to be for our droid friend. So, yeah. Let me go grab it over here. Hello, little woman. Do you have an electric cable for me? I'd love to make you a poncho, but I need that cable. Oh, thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. There we are. We are getting ourselves a poncho. Well, not ourselves, unfortunately. There it is. There you go, little one. It will suit you well. No, it won't. Hopefully it won't. It needs the suit. I'll fit on Elliot, not me. Well, well, it will suit our purposes for getting out of here. This looks very warm, perfect for a cold robot. Yes, I do think so. So let's run back to Elliot. We can jump over here and let's go before he dies freezing. <laughs> Elliot. No, don't worry, the tracker is safe here with me. But I can't work unless I have cloth to keep me warm. I can't focus. Well, here you go. Here you go. You can have your cloth, Elliot. Have your cloth. Use it well. Use it well. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Look. No tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update. And one more thing. And voila! There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you were looking for. Okay. Okay, we've got it. We've got the tracker working. 
Now that we fixed the tracker, let's find Seamus and track down his papa. No time to lose. No time to lose. Um, okay. Let's go to his house once more. And then... What are we going to do? We, we, we need to find his papa with the tracker, but are we going... Into Zerk territory again. I don't want to do that. Hello to you. I haven't met you yet. Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the Barterman. There's something for everyone over there. The Barterman. Barterman? I thought. Oh, I thought it was Bartender. <laughs> the Bartender. Uh, Barton man. Okay. Uh, who are you as well? I take care of plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they don't require light. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It's really amazing technology. <laughs> amazing technology. <laughs> yeah. Plants. What an amazing piece of technical material. Uh, oh. Here's another energy drink for us to to grab come over here uh huh anything else around here just taking a good look because i don't know if we're going to be able to come back and what oh okay again again this so stupid <laughs> i fell for it again well it's just my cat nature. It is what it is. Okay, you're free. Hello to you again, Morusk. Morusk, is that it? I think I have some extra musical sheets now that I can show you. Let me see here. Petite Vols. Yeah, sounds cool. Here, watch that. Blah 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 right then I think I'm gonna go sorry you are a great musician but there are things to be done things to do and what was it again let me uh Music sheet. And what's this thing? Hello, what do you want now? Oh, that's an ancient relic. It will cost you three drinks. I can't do less. Alright, so should I exchange my energy drinks? Do I have enough? I don't have even enough. Uh and what do we need that for? There, there's no mission yet, which requ requires the energy drinks. But I'm guessing it will be needed at some point. So now I need to go and find Elliot. But I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure where he was again. So, for some reason, it was really difficult to find my way, but... After five days and three nights of searching, I was finally able to find his home again. And yeah, if I can still call myself a cat after that demonstration of stupidity, then yes, I'm still a cat. So is it here? Wait. No, it's not there, is it? Oh, damn it, I, I thought it was over there, on that door. But that's not right. That was Elliot's, <laughs> where I came from. My god, I, I did a complete full circle right now. Where I want to go, I can't remember this, it's ridiculous. Oh, for the love of God, he was in this corner in here. 
Oh my god, I ran through the whole city 10 times and didn't find this place. Did you manage to fix that track there? Oh yes, you can bet I did. You did it! You fixed it! Well done, keep it here. We've got a thing. It's Papa already alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where Papa went. Okay, okay, here we are. We are going for an adventure to find the Papa. His Papa, not my Papa. But yeah, that's great news because that guy has the weapon to kill Zerks. And we want that. Oh my god, and Cosma again. Sorry, Cosma. Sorry. Okay. But where is it taking us to? Can you walk a bit faster, please? <laughs> oh, are we going to the to the people in the fire over here? Oh, oh wait. It's the door, isn't it? The door that we we saw before. I knew there was something about this door here. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Oh, we are going... Alright, we are going somewhere new. Now this is exciting. We're going to, to search for the dock. Well, well, well. I am going to leave you in a cliffhanger here. Because we are going to continue our adventure in the next episode, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, and I hope to see you soon, okay? So, stay well. And, goodbye.